G Outdoors Production. Son of a gun, that's a big one. Hey guys, so um, I thought that I'd uh, show you guys firsthand how to, uh, how to clean these birds. Um, my, my way of extracting the meat off these birds. Um, so what I usually do is uh, I'll, I'll get a sharp knife, like a, like a rapala uh, or uh, like a filet knife. Um, and uh, what I usually do is I, I, I lay them on their back <clears throat> and I like to uh, pull off their skin like this to, as to expose the breast. So you pull off the, the skin, and it comes off pretty easy. You could uh, you could do this with uh, a lot of birds. Um, some are harder than others. As you can see, the meat is very 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 red. So when you did this, um, you've exposed your breast. There's different ways uh, to do it. If you want to extract the legs, you could actually come in down here and, and cut them. Um, what I like to do is I like to take the fillet knife and uh, and start up here. I like to follow that main bone downwards. And then once I've cut through like that, I'll come and just do a little nick over here to try and expose that meat. And then just go and slowly, like you would fillet a fish, you scrape off from the bone. Be careful when you're doing this, because there's a like a there's like a double filet on the uh, on the on the inside of the meat. There's like a two part. This is actually a really tender piece of meat, so you don't want to you want to try not to lose that. And then you just you know cut through. Keep in mind for the guys starting that it's not always easy. You know you try to get as much meat as you can, but do what you can. And you know, no matter how damaged the meat is from the shooting, always try to save the meat. You know, we don't want anything to go to waste. So that's one way of doing it. It gives you a nice breast of red meat. And you could do the same thing for the other side. See, so now you're down to bone and you've extracted all that meat from this side. And you could do the same thing on the other side. You start up at the at the base as low as you can go. Come up. Follow the inside of that that bone. Really go slowly with the tip of your knife so you could work in layers. And just skin down. I'm sure you guys have done this probably when you've rested ducks. Um, it's a it's a it's a it's a way that a lot of duck hunters rest the ducks. Uh, it's, it's easy, it's quick, you get a good piece of meat out of it. Um, and uh, that's it, you, you know, you're, you're able to extract the meat. And you try, try not to get, um, and I try not to, uh, to rinse the meat too much before I cook it. So I try to freeze it without wetting it. Because if you wash the meat right after, unless it's really damaged, if you wash the meat right after it gets wet, You'll, if you don't really dry it properly, it'll, it has a tendency to frostbite a lot quicker. So, um, so I try not to, not to wet it. I'll leave it like this, and I'll vacuum seal it. And, um, and yeah. So there you've, you've extracted two breasts from your ptarmigan. There's barely any more meat left on here. And then you could uh, actually go ahead and, and cut the legs off if, if, if you want. Uh, it's a bit more of a, of a hard job. You'd have to skin it and break them off, but. Uh, you know, you see if, if, if they're not damaged, they're a very delicious piece of meat. So what you do is you just skin them off. You know, you could pull them off. Same principle, you expose the leg. 
and then from there you could break it off and and uh, and have your leg you'd, you'd cut it off here and you could fry them up and they're really good so uh, that's how you uh, fillet a, 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 a ptarmigan you could uh, you could do the same same thing with a with a goose or with a duck um, the grouse the uh, the the, 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 the um, Ruffle grouse are a bit different. There's actually a trick with the ruffle grouse where you could lay them down on their back and step on their wings and pull and, and extracts the the whole breast automatically. Um, but uh, but there's different ways. This one too, I actually you know uh, you could break off the rib cage and just keep them together. There's uh, there's different ways to do it, but whatever you guys like, uh, you know whatever you guys prefer, as long as you extract uh, the most meat possible. So uh, that's how I clean my ptarmigans and I hope uh, it was uh, helpful to you guys. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll uh, I'll make a recipe soon. So. As always, like, comment, and subscribe.